Hey guys, it's Ellen. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, which I know a couple of you are, um, I run my own small homemade business called Sew and Inspire. I sell pence cases, scrunchies, tote bags, like so much more. So um, yeah, I started my Etsy shop maybe like a month ago now. Um, <clears throat> I'm still extremely small. Um, hopefully one day it'll grow and hopefully I can just keep it growing, you know? Hello everybody, it's now Sunday and I went to Hobbycraft today because I am planning to re- <laughs> kind of do my little craft trolley I need to tidy this room up it's honestly it feels a bit claustrophobic in it there's just stuff everywhere <laughs> and it's a problem but right now I'm gonna focus on my trolley so if I just put you here so I thought I'd show you the bits I picked up from Hobbycraft um to go with my trolley my trolley trolley is actually from Hobbycraft, and i know for a fact they still sell them if you would like one so the first thing by the way all of the things i'm going to show you are actually meant for the trolley so first thing i got was this little tray this was only like two pounds i think and this is just it fits like perfectly on top of it so you can have stuff underneath it and things like that so that's going to be really helpful i'm not sure what i'm going to put in it yet and then the other thing i got was this as you can see by the picture it's just a tray now i thought this would be really good because i really need a packing station for packing orders i know i don't get a lot of orders but hopefully i will in the future but when i do need to pack orders it's i just have to like gather stuff together and then it gets really messy so i feel like if i just have one place to pack my orders it'll be better so i was thinking that i could put my tissue paper on top of the tray and then everything else that i needed like underneath it and it'd be super easy to just lift off and then i did also get this which is actually meant to hook over a cupboard but it works perfectly well hooking it over like the thing of the trolley so it's just kind of like that so that is another really great thing for storage and i am sure i can make use for it so i'm gonna get started i thought i'd show you my progress um because organization stuff like this really excites me i don't know if that's sad but it does so <laughs> okay this is an update on the trolley i haven't made any more progress on the rest of the room but basically this tissue paper is a lot bigger than i thought so i just like it's folded on here right now so when i need it i think i'll just have to like take it off here um and take it to the table but at least it has a place to go back to and then basically under here is my recycled plastic bags my stickers and my business card so it's like super easy just to lift off and at the next um like tier is all my painting and my block craft so i have all my blocks here my ever-growing collection my paints might have to go somewhere else if this grows because i would love to get another tray next to here um, with the rest of my blocks in but under here I've just got all of my paints again it's so easy just to lift that off then I've got my sponges and my acrylic paints and then the bottom is just all of my pens which is very aesthetically pleasing <laughs> So yeah, that is how my little trolley is, oh, and then this is back here. I did have my sponges in here, but I kind of, like, needed easier access to them. 
so i've put loads of thread in there <laughs> that i don't really need right now so yeah i'm very happy why is this not really going anywhere um i also think what i'm gonna do is move this to where that is and then move that to here and put fabric in it so i still have a lot of fabric that i don't know what to do with hello 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 so i have been filming this studio vlog for what feels like weeks um but i had to share this with you because a couple weeks ago now i got the loveliest message from someone in oh where was she from uh norway i think and it broke my actual heart she basically said to me watching your video now how many amazing fabric you've got you've really got talent love your products what would you let me know if you ever start shipping abroad like norway wish you all the best and then she went on and just literally gave me so many tips um because she's a seller herself on etsy and she was just like i think it's amazing to watch 13 year old take such big steps into her dream and just yesterday i told myself to look for shops on etsy that has a lot of potential but not as not has had ton but that hasn't had tons of sales and then this morning, as I turned on my YouTube as part of my Monday morning coffee routine, your video showed up when I searched for packing orders videos. Um, and then she just went on giving like loads of tips on selling and things like that. How lovely is that message? Like, honestly, I, I literally couldn't that someone had taken the time out of their day to t send me that which is crazy but yeah i wanted to insert that here because i completely forgot um it was quite a while ago now so yeah but i knew it had to go in the studio vlog so yeah anyway carrying on with the vlog <laughs> hello everybody <clears throat> happy what day is it? wednesday <laughs> thought I'd pick up the camera today because I basically in textiles at school we've been asked to make a item out of recycled material so I'm making a newspaper dress and this is how it's going so far I was going to make a whole video on it but I've like kind of already started and I thought it would just be good to feature in this studio vlog so this is how the dress is looking so yeah but it's basically all just stuck on like pinned onto the mannequin so today i'm going to be like gluing these bits on and sewing in the darts and stuff because they're just pinned at the moment so i thought i'd kind of show you what i'm doing and how i'm making it really i don't know if this will be interesting but hey okay i have deassembled the dress i'm just going to put you up there and basically, for the bodice, I used one sheet of newspaper. And I did like a little bit of draping. So basically, I just laid it on the uh, mannequin, pinned it around the top, and then kind of like put in the darts where they needed. As you can see, it's held the shape of the mannequin quite well. So the darts that I put in, I'm now going to just put a few stitches down the like dart line to kind of hold them in place if that makes sense i do apologize about the noise but this is how it's looking so i've sewn in the darts um as you can see this one's kind of like ripped a bit but i'm just going to ignore that and like hide that a bit um and then these darts have worked well um and then i just had to add this bit in the back um because obviously where it goes wider at the hips it goes out so it's not like enough um so i've just used my hot glue gun for that so now i'm going to 
start attaching the skirt like pieces. how it's looking i'm pretty happy with it actually but it's the end of the lesson now so i'll go with french hello everybody it is actually um <laughs> quite a few days later now i don't know why i just haven't really filmed that much for the studio vlog um but don't worry i will up my game very very soon because now I'm on my summer holidays um so it inspires basically my everything so not that it wasn't before but it was quite difficult um with school but anyway yeah I've got so much to update you on I've had an exciting package I have had an exciting day yesterday um I was supposed to start the vlog yesterday but I didn't get around to it. So let's start off with the first very exciting thing. So, I decided it was time to get some thank you cards printed because I was just doing little handwritten notes, which is obviously absolutely fine, but I just wanted to make it a little bit more professional, you know. So I'd heard Emily Harvey Art, I think she's called. Um, speak about printed.com so I decided to try them out and they arrived uh, not last yeah last week I think and I'm so happy with them I used um, a website that I can't remember the name of to like do the design so it's not technically my design but I'm not like an artist so I think that's fine um, but on this side it just says thank you you're the best um and i just thought i would have this like up on like a pin board or something i just think it's a really cute like postcard and then on the back it has all my details um so yeah and i can just write like to thank you and stuff on the back as well um i really do worry that i come across not in the right way on my youtube channel um i can't describe it but i just feel like my studio vlogs are like super me like this is literally me right now where i feel like i can't describe it but yeah that's what's going on i'm right now i'm gonna make some scrunchies because i need to uh restock because someone bought all of them if you watched my last studio vlog uh and i have been really lazy because sales have been incredibly slow i this week i am very fortunately got two sales which i'm incredibly incredibly fortunate for um but last week i didn't get any which was like a little bit disheartening but then also not really because i hadn't posted on youtube hadn't posted on instagram like it was just all over the place so yeah but i've been rambling for way too long now so yeah let's make some scrunchies i'm so excited i love making scrunchies they're like my favorite thing good morning everybody it's now the next day and i'm really sorry about the noise <laughs> Uh, anyway, um, so this morning I have just made two scrunchies for an order that came in um, on Friday. So I just thought I would show you how, well you guys already know how I package my orders. But I thought I'd just do a little time lapse because it's quite fun, you know. And I love watching time lapse of, of people packing orders. <laughs>
sunny. Um, so it's a little bit later on now. I just got back from seeing my friend in town. And there's a couple of things. So my orders are all packaged up now. And I think I will be going to the post office tomorrow. So I will take them to the post office tomorrow. But the other day I bought, I purchased a pegboard from Hobbycraft. It's not huge, but it's fine because I don't really have the space for a huge one right now. So I thought I'd put it up in this vlog. And then what I also used to do is take some product photos of some new scrunchies that are coming on my Etsy shop um, because I need to do the pre-launch photos today. Um, so then when they've launched, when they launch on Wednesday, um, I have the photos. So gonna do that now i'm gonna put my little setup all ready to go so i just um i've decided against i'm still gonna take the product photos for this scrunchie which will be launching on Wednesday um, if, <laughs> if you like the look, at it, look of it it's basically uh, blue feathers and it's like it's pretty cute but I'm gonna try so hard to make my Instagram look good because I just you know when people just have an aesthetic to their Instagram and then you know that picture's from them that's what I want to try and get at the moment my instagram's just a bit of a mess do you know what i mean so yeah what the app i have downloaded recently is called template i would really recommend it i i love it there's so many different um things that you can do okay so this is the how the pitch turned out i love it um i chose this um filter i guess you could call it um so yeah really happy with that hopefully everyone likes it okay so i've done my pegboard and i'm not really it looks a little bit boring um and it's not the ideal place to have it but i literally have nowhere else it can go i could possibly put it up there maybe at some point but for now it's fine there i just need to clear the rest of the table but i think i'm gonna end this studio vlog here my battery is literally flat so if you did enjoy it make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're not ready because that would mean the absolute world to me and i will see you guys next sunday at 5 p.m for a brand new video and by the way my etsy shop is always linked in the description box if you did want to check out so yeah hope you all have a great week and i'll see you next week bye